This next tune, this next tune that I'm going to do right now has had me blamed for a lot of babies, a lot of heartaches, but then a lot of good things too. A lot of making out the back seats, making out the front seats. This is a tune that I wrote back in 1972. And uh, believe it or not, I wrote this song in algebra class. Now that you know, I fucked algebra anyway. I got this song. This song is a side of title Suavecito. And I'd like to dedicate this to everybody here. It's such a wonderful audience. This goes out to you, to me.
Mr. E's nightclub in Berkeley where Mr. Pete Escovito just threw down. It's a part of a one year celebration of Mr. E's being here in Berkeley. Also performing here at the club, Mr. Richard Bean from the group called Sapo. If we could break him away from some of these fans here. But uh, yeah. And um, you know, you've probably seen some of the footage here at uh, Mr. E's. But hey, Rich. Hey, how's it going, man? Everything's going great, uh, yeah. Gary. It's great. The man who wrote and sang the song Suavecito. Man. Hey, um, let, let's talk about that song real quick before we get any farther. Um, how'd you come up with Suavecito, that million seller that originally came out with Malo back in the days, right? Well, actually, uh, like I told you before, Gary, um, on some of your shows is that uh, I was in uh, high school and um, I was um, in algebra class and um, I wasn't very good with numbers. And I ended up writing a lot of poems and doing poems. I came up with Suavecito. Originally, uh, you were with a group called the Malibus. That's where it really all started, right? Uh, that was before Malo, right? Before Malo was even thought of, right? The Malibus were formed back in, uh, I guess, in the early 60s. And we did a lot of top 40 band, uh, you know, a lot of top 40 songs, whatever. And uh, developed from there, we um, got a, a couple of the players, like Jorge, you know, into the band, and then Richard Spremich, and Luis Gasca, and Richard Cremote, and it uh, became Malo after that. Right, and uh, when you talk about uh, Jorge, we talk about Jorge Santana, who is uh, Carlos Santana's brother. You were even in a band with Carlos, right, called the, what, Dynamics? Well, actually, me and Carlos were in a band together in, uh, ba uh, back in high school, and um, we were called the Dynamics. We did this uh, one... Uh, uh, what do you call it? I guess it was like a, a rally dance or whatever, and uh, Carlos was there, and uh, I was playing sax at the time, and yeah, it was we were called the Dynamics. He may not want to say it, but we were called the Dynamics. Wow. And, uh, you know, let's talk about uh, you being with uh, Malo. Malo, of course, had that million-selling album in 72 on Warner Brother Records, had songs like Nena, also uh, Bana, Peace, with uh, Richard Bean writing and uh, singing the song Suavecito and then you went off and did the Jorge Santana stuff and uh, had songs like uh, Love the Way and uh, Tonight You're Mine so many great songs but Sapo Sapo is the group Sapo is the group that you've been working with uh, right now there's a reissue on Sapo which is uh, originally uh, it came out in 74 right Arista Records tell me about Sapo you creating this group well, actually, Sapa was uh, created by me and my brother, uh, Joe, and that was back in 19, uh, oh, right after I left Malo, and uh, we decided we'd put a band together. Um, we took, I don't know, maybe about six or seven players or whatever and started the nucleus of the band and incorporated other people into the band. And uh, Sapo, speaking of the CD, here it is. I don't know if you can get a close-up on this, but... Uh, 
this is a CD that, I mean, was a national anthem like in the early 70s, like 74, and uh, low riders were happening, uh, especially, particularly around the 24th Emission, right? Absolutely. Right. Sopo and was one of those bands that uh, was kind of like an underground band that just emerged out of um, something that was uh, spontaneous, but it was uh, a very good band. Like I said, it didn't get the right exposure, but uh, I hope now that we have the band back together that we will get that right exposure that we need and we deserve. Right. And uh, we'll let you know details on how uh, you can get a hold of Richard Bean uh, you know, uh, and Sapo. If you uh, want to produce something, get something going, uh, you know, uh, book a show, concert, he's available. He's the man. The return of Sapo. It's all the way back. And, uh, you know, i got to tell you, uh, how can people get a hold of you? Actually, uh, they can uh, reach us um, at, um, well, my management is at 510-881-7667, or they can reach us on the, on the web um, email, jj-juno at dot com. So basically, we also have a show coming up December the 4th, uh, our CD release party down at uh, San Jose at the Fairmont, and we hope to see everybody there. And, uh, you know, uh, on this CD, uh, I got to let everybody know, I did the liner notes on this. Uh, you know, we know all this information, but I actually wrote uh, quite a few uh, words in this, uh, you know, talking about Richard. So, you know, uh, get it. It will be at your record stores, and you can get it through J&J. &J. But, Richard, you know, the song Suavecito, right? We talked about it. Do you mind doing, like, a, maybe a little a cappella, man, and, you know, just showing, uh, you know, the viewers... Uh, what you're really all about, you know what I'm saying? Just like a couple lines, a little something, something. You know what I, mean? I never, I never met a girl like you in my life. The way that you hold me in the night, the way that you make things go right. Whenever you're in my arms, you're filling me with all your charm. Suavecito, mi linda. Hey, you know what? I want to bring my drummer in here. Yeah. You know, the drummer, he the funky my, drummer. He is my man. He he is my original, original drummer, drummer from the band. This Thank is Bobby you. Brown. Thank you. And he's been with me. I mean, right from the very start, right? From the very start. And if, if he wasn't with me, he was always in my mind and spirit. And I'm glad to have him back as a whole person. I mean, he makes the whole thing happen right now with me so uh -huh. what do you have to say about being in the group Sapo now that you came back I mean you know the album you recorded it in the studios originally in 74 but now you're back it's 1998 how do you feel about this I think it's great working with Richard again uh, it's always better the second time around because now we're having a lot of fun but I'm really I'm really uh, uh, feel good about getting behind him because he knows that in uh, not just the musical aspect but as friends, that I'm always behind him, and he can always count on me. It doesn't have to necessarily be music. So uh, once I got into the band, it was really a, it was a, a, it was a great thing being uh, back together with him after 15, 20 years. But he knows that I'm in his corner, so I think that it uh, really enhanced his performance even more, too, to know that he's got somebody behind him that will support him uh, Till the day I die, basically. Absolutely. <laughs> the funky drum. Do you have any uh, shout-outs, skewels, uh, highs you want to send out to anybody? Yeah, I'd just like to send a shout-out to my son, Bobby Gaviola Jr. Um, I wish he could be here tonight, but unfortunately he can't get in yet. But <laughs> in a couple more years, he'll, he'll, he'll be here. But um, it's like I said, it's great to be working with Richard again. And uh, hopefully, uh, you know, it'll take off and uh, we'll be able to do some great things together again. Great. And, Thanks a lot, man. Thank you. Great, right. The original uh, drummer, and uh, your name exactly is? Uh, my name is Robert Gaviola, but also known as Bobby Brown, but I can't use that no more because I don't want people to think that I beat up Whitney Houston. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we could just call him Funky Drummer. And uh, some of the other uh, original members, Oscar Estrella, right? Uh, on Oscar and off Estrella, with you? Yeah, actually, he will. He may come down to our CD release party. Uh, Actually, we're going to try to get a lot of the Sapo original members to come down and actually sit in on our CD release party because they really would like to know what's going on. Also in the group, it featured uh, Rual Rinka, who was an uh, original member of uh, Sapo, yeah. but went on to do Santana, still plays with Santana. Also, uh, Jose Simon, right? Jose Simon. Uh, uh, famous. He's got the, uh, what, what is it, Comedy Day that he does. And then uh, we got Kate Miller, who's touring right now with uh, Pablo Cruz and also with 
had last played with the Monkees. So, the, uh, you know, these guys are still around and they're still involved, and, and I'm glad for them. You know, I'm glad because the music is still what's happening. So, just like Bobby's back with me, you know, maybe these guys might eventually sometimes come back with me, but I love the guys that I'm playing with now, and I'm going to keep it together. And this is what it's all about, playing yeah. good music for the fans out there. Before we let you go, man, you used to play with Mike Judge, Beavis, and Butthead, I understand. Or? Man, you know what? You keep asking me about that, man. And it's like you, you, it's like you don't believe me or something, man. Yeah. Come no, to actually, Butthead. No, no. <laughs> actually, Mike Judge was uh, my uh, bass player. Uh, we did a show at uh, Carnival uh, back in 1988. I have that on videotape. So, Mike Judge, you can, if you don't believe me, I have that, and you know for sure that you did play with Sapa. Now, at that time, it was called Casanova. What can we see uh, in the future for Sapo now, then? Um, you know, what, what can we expect? Uh, what can we look out for? What can you say to the public? Well, right now, what we're looking for right now is to uh, keep, uh, keep developing the band, um, produce more music, de uh, and definitely stay in the studio, get out there and promote the album, get on a nice national tour, and just really let the people know what Sapo was all about, because a lot of people did not get a chance to really see what Sapo was all about. And Sapo is a fantastic band. We've got a lot of good things that are happening. We've got a lot of great music. And I just think the fans out there deserve to see something really great. Um, you know, you have any shout outs? Anybody want to say hi to Cubos? Uh? Well, I just want to say shout out to all my friends, my family, my loved ones. And, you know, just, I mean, all my, just, just you know, stay with, uh, stay with us. Uh, all your support. We love you. And we hope to see you soon at one of our shows. And God bless you all. I just had a guy come up to me and say that he brought his friends and family all the way from uh, Modesto and Bakersfield, so that's that's quite a trip to uh, Berkeley. But it's great to know we still have loyal fans out there. Hey, I want to thank you, Richard. I want to thank you, Richard. Thank you, I want to thank you, Bobby. Thank you. And ladies and gentlemen, give it up for Sapo, Richard Bean, Bobby. Remember, get the CD, features all the hits been had, can't make it, a classic, Ritmo de Corazón, get it on. Nina, it's the music, Sapos Montuno, put out by Time Warp Music. And uh, once again, Richard, how can they get a hold of you? Uh, at 510-881-7667 is the management, and um, you can probably reach us through there. It's better on the telephone. Yeah. And I got a special shout outs going out to uh, Robert Limon from uh, KDOL Productions out in Oakland, also Al Ballard, also the Escovito family for letting us tape here. And um, remember, come to Mr. E's in Berkeley, right here on Shattuck Avenue. They have salsa happening like every Wednesday. They have things happening every weekend. Just got to call them up. Number is 848-2009. Ask for Zena, ask for anybody, but uh, they're here in Berkeley. Once again, we'd like to thank uh, them and uh, you for watching. And uh, this is Gary Bacher, G-Spot. You can hear me every Saturday night, Sunday morning, 1 to 5 a.m. each and every week on 94.1 FM. KPFA. I'm out. Thanks for watching.